Very Can you see belt on? Yes. Good. Extremely tightly too. Very good boy. This is Solo Vino, which means he came alone. Mm. Which changes things a lot. Alright, so we're back on board. It's like a million degrees, but anyway. Uh, Dad's just working on getting through holes out down there. You can see we've got some out already. Um, and me and mum are going to work on cleaning the floor. So basically, like the first few days, we're focusing on the hull. So the through hulls and um, basically there's like pitting on the inside and the outside of the hull. So we need to clean it and sand it and work out how deep the pitting is to make sure I don't need any welding. This stage it doesn't look like we will, but that will obviously change things a lot if we do. So yeah, that's the focus. It was all hands on deck cleaning the bilges to reveal the worst affected areas. We decided to get the local boys working on the outside while we focused on the inside. So these are the parts that are very worrying. Um, basically previous owners, some of the pitting they've just ignored and some they've epoxied over but without cleaning it the correct way first. And this is what happens when you take the epoxy off. Basically, you can see here where they've taken, where I've kind of removed the epoxy. All the corrosion has continued underneath and has eaten my hull away. And especially like this area here is really bad. So we're going to have to measure how deep that goes, burr it out properly and clean it. And then, uh, yeah, basically once it's all cleaned out properly and burred, we'll decide how deep it is and whether it needs welding or proper epoxy or left bare. With the through holes removed, we finally had an area where we could measure the thickness of the hull. Can you get it in? Zero, yeah. Six mil. Six mil, okay. Yeah, yeah that's what he thought. Yeah. We also did some reconnaissance of the nearby stores in Tapatula and we managed to find some burr attachments for the drill to help us assess the corrosion more quickly. You can really tell the difference when you get uh, like the diseased parts of the metal and the strong metal because this barely, like barely touches um, like the normal metal, like if you put it on there, it'll start to scuff it and it'll get shiny, but it takes a really long time. Whereas over the diseased parts with cor corrosion, you pop it on and you just get chunks flying off because it's oxidized below the surface. This type of oxidization is probably caused from um, electrolysis. And it's like a, um, like a cancer where you see, you know, you see that surface problem and then it's like spread underneath. So this isn't so bad, there's just a lot of little spots and basically we just got to get them as clean as possible because for as long as we leave them with all their edges and it's not exposed, that's when uh, you know the problem can continue with other types of corrosion and metal. Um, it, in terms of why it's happening, it could definitely be stray like electrolysis type problems or it's a stray currents in the boat, which given the state of the anti-fouling and the fact I have no anode on the hull, for some reason, could be why. Um, but also, these the areas that it's worst are the areas that the boat would have collected water if ever water entered the boat. And so I do worry and wonder whether at some point when the boats had water, you know, coming through windows and things, whether it's just sat in this area and that's created kind of an electrical solution as well with salts and things. Um, yeah, one of the joys of aluminium boats, they're very tough, but um, this, this happens slowly. Oh, and it's so hot. Well, bad news. Dad's been playing with the knife and we've gone, you can probably see the holes. One, two, three, that's through to the outside world. We have a lot of corrosion. 
mm. which changes things a lot. Listen, if it's just here. Sending more down. With that bad discovery, we decided the entire boat needed to be gutted so we could better check every single inch of the hull. I would like to tell you that that's everything, but there's a bunch in those bottom storage cupboards, but I'm just going to leave that. We can lift the stuff out of it as needed. Okay. It's a packed little car. Yeah, amazing. You get it all in there. Yeah. Considering that's essentially everything I own that's not boat parts yeah. and everything Jim owns, yeah. <laughs> it's not much stuff. Yeah. And it includes all the cushions. Yeah. Haven't driven on the wrong side of the road for two years and I've only done it a few times, so we should be fine. I've lived here long enough. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. Very <laughs> seatbelt on? Yes, Good. extremely tightly too. Luckily our hotel rentals included a downstairs carport, perfect for storing boat items. And yes, we do have a few surfboards. Casual dog on a roof. <laughs> With the boat all clear, it was time for some demolition work. Don't you love working on boats? It's so much easier than working in a shed. Yeah, I'd risk you ripping this out and making another one. But I mean, we so, can, but. Not so easy there for us here. No. Some 30 minutes later, we got pretty over preserving the plywood. All right, man. Did you, did you take it downstairs for anything? Oh, maybe. Oh. Did you see that drill down on the table, mate? I don't think it is, though. No. This is where it was glued oh, on. We have a little bit of pitting here, but nothing like in those other areas. Just needs a good clean up. <laughs> Why is this so much work, Dad? Oh, this is nothing. <laughs> it is. I, well, it's nothing, but like I know it's not anywhere near. You know what I mean? No. I know this isn't much, but it, I know what's to come. Yeah. Is why I feel like it's a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There was one other job I had to see to amongst the boat work. You come back here, Pete. Come back here. Come back in the shade. Look, over this way. This way. What a good boy. This is Solo Vino, which means he came alone because two weeks ago he turned up at the marina, two weeks before I got here. Um, apparently he's put on a lot of weight, so he was extraordinarily thin when he first came. You can't come this way. Come here. Come on. He looks like he's got scars on his head, so he's obviously been in some doggy attacks. And he's got an eye infection, so I've got some um, eye drops I'm going to put on him. And I also have a disinfectant for his skin that we're going to bath him with. 
and I've got some ivermectin and prosopontal tablets which are going to get rid of any mites in his skin and any internal parasites and any ticks. Can you take this? Ready, Papa? Good boy. Good boy. Huh? Huh? Open. Open up. Oh, he's a good boy. Good boy. You swallow him down? Can we put these in your eyes? Oh, he's a good boy. Really? Can I put these in your eyes? Solo has since been renamed Nicholas, and you'll barely recognise him in coming videos. Hey, whole boat's apart, eh? Huh? Needs to be. I said, whole boat's apart. Yeah, I thought we good. Good. And I've basically done that front section for the most part. Yeah. Okay, one day we're definitely going to have to do something there. Well. Oh, you're hot. Yeah, I bet. Um, yeah. Alright, I'll go back into the hole. This is what happens when you epoxy over a little corrosion in the aluminium without doing anything else. You eat an entire giant hole in your aluminium and Dad went through that with the knife, like, no pressure at all, right Dad? Like. Which is a little scary to think that was all that was stopping a leak in the boat. Well, probably what was stopping the leak in the boat more than anything was your anti fail. Yeah, Jesus. Well, we just took the um, cover off the water tank and there's pitting like through the entire tank. Some of them are pretty deep, like it's a thicker part of that hole, but I didn't realize that the tanks had actually been painted in the past. I thought it was just like the aluminium was a bit darker, for, like because it wasn't as exposed to the oxidization. But I guess where the pits are is where the paints come off, and um, it just means it's like eaten away in a bunch of places. What I'm, what I'm thinking, Shed, is we get the water blaster in there, That's blast the shit out of it, uh -huh. pump it out. Keep pumping it out and see what we got. Then maybe, maybe yeah, just water blast it. Mm. Put some acetate in there, water blast it, and then paint it with something. Yeah, yeah. Takes a big yeah, person to admit defeat it. sometimes too, yeah. and maybe. Not well, not defeat, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, you get to it's a point where you. How long to go with it? Like. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was just saying to Dad, I just kind of feel like it was like. I didn't choose the boat, but it's just like, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll stop it there. Yeah. It's a cliffhanger ending, I know. But you all know I never give up. Through all the blood, sweat and tears, we will make it there together. If you'd like to help us help animals and help keep our other patient, Miss Chuffed, afloat, become a patron and get live updates amongst lots of other extras. Until next time, stay chuffed, everybody. You know I got them low down, boyard blue.